to you the activity workbook that is designed to go along with the reader. All the activities in the workbook are based on the words and phrases and, and activities that took place in the story of New and Different Friends. Uh, it starts at the very, very elementary level where we have children coloring circles or coloring squares trying to distinguish between one thing or another. And, it, and it, as you move through the book, it, the activities come, become more advanced and a little more difficult to do. And that's why we talk about building skills because they build on one skill to the next skill to the next skill. And then we get into some games that can be easily put together in a classroom or at home. Uh, doesn't require anything expensive. Uh, scissors, tape, paste, three by five cards, crayons, that's sufficient to play any of these games. And these games are also designed so that you can be flexible, add in your own rules, uh, change it around a little bit to make it fun. Now, I've selected a game to demonstrate with my friends here. This is Shayla and Corey and Malik, and they're going to play the Hunter Ryan game. Now, the idea is to have some three by five cards and to find words that rhyme. We have book and look, and we have shame and game. Now, all these words can be found in the reader, new and different friends, and you can also add your own rhyming words. And you play this just like the game that used to be on television called Concentration. It's very similar to that. You write the rhyming words on the 3x5 card with a nice dark pencil of some kind or pen. And then you just turn these over and mix them up. And then we ask the children to find two that match. And then if they find two that match, they get to keep those cards. Whoever wins the most wins the prize. And I always have lots of prizes for my students when I teach because when they win something, that helps build confidence. So um, we'll have Shayla turn two cards over first so she can find two rhyming words. Just turn one over. Do you know that word? Cook. Very good. Can you find one that rhymes with it? What's that word? Book. Does that rhyme? Yes. Very good. Okay. Now you get to keep those, all right? Now we'll give Corey a turn here. Actually, we should have at least 40 cards out here to make this a little more challenging, but just for the sake of demonstration, we only have a few cards. What? Game. Game. And shame. Shame. Do those rhyme? Yep. Okay, very good. Okay, Malik, do you think you can find two rhyming words? Yeah. All right. Look. Look. And took. Took. Excellent. Very good. Well, you all are winners, so what I'll do, I'll give everybody a prize, okay? We have a little toy watch here for you, Shayla, for a good job done. And we have a micro mini dictionary for Corey. And we have a tape for Malik by Marvin Gaye. How about that? Very good. I'm very proud of
known to me that I didn't realize and probably a lot of other people didn't realize as far as black history and being true history, which is a, <clears throat> a gentleman by the name of Mr. Carter D. Woodson. And it says that he was the son of tenant farmer and former slave, and he is the father of Black History Month, which started back in 1912 with Mr. Woodson. But when Black History, what we call Black History Month now, originally started out in 1912, it started out as just Black History Week. Right, it was called Negro History Week back then. Okay. Um, and he was the, the person who brought it to the forefront, uh, made it an official celebration mm -hmm. uh, one week in uh, February, I believe, to honor black history, to bring out the achievements and contributions of a lot of black uh, inventors and scientists and okay. people who've made you know major contributions. Okay, then. So Mr. Woodson, we can say, is our founding father of uh, Black History Month. What we call it now is Black History Month and not just, um, you know, saying that. Because a lot of people say, well, who thought this up? Where did this come from? And things right. like that. So now, just a tad bit of information and education for you this month. This is where Black History Month started from, right here, Mr. Woodson.